Good afternoon. Here we have a 2000 Chevy Malibu and we're going to be doing a brake change on the front brakes. They are disc brakes. So let's go ahead and get started. I already have the car up on jack stands, so we're going to go ahead and take off the spindle cover here. Just get under here with some pry bar or screwdriver. And there it goes. Okay, now we have little caps on the lug nuts. These just screw off. And, uh, whoops. You just go all the way around, take all those off, and then you can get the hub cap off. With the hub cap off, we can take the wheel off now. Get your breaker bar. What is this? This is a 19 millimeter. Next steps, take off the caliper. With the caliper off, we can go ahead and depress the piston. So, uh, I already took the caliper bracket off um, because our caliper was bad, so we had to replace that and turned it in for core. Um, so the caliper bracket is just two 13 millimeter bolts. Um, I mean, it's just like any other thing. It's just got two bolts and you just take it off. And uh, we already replaced the hardware and greased that up. So pretty much anywhere where metal meets metal, you want to make sure you put some grease on there. And uh, the caliper came with new slider bolts and boots. So make sure you just grease those up and uh, replace those. So we can go ahead and put the rotor back on. Now that we already cleaned off all the Cosmoline. And with that, we can put the caliper bracket back on. All right, now that we have the caliper bracket on, we can put the uh, pads on. So we're just gonna make sure we wanna lubricate where metal meets metal once again. Now that we have the brake pads on, we can go ahead and put the new caliper back in place. All right, now that we have the caliper back on, we're pretty much done with the brake process. But uh, since we had a new caliper, we wanted to bleed the brakes. So pretty simple process. All you gotta do, it's easier if you have two people, one person down here, one person in the car. So the first thing you wanna do is the person in the car pump up the brakes until they're firm. And someone down here takes a wrench. In this case, we had a 10 millimeter, it just goes over the, the bleeder valve, open it up until the person inside pushes the pedal to the floor, close the valve, release the pedal, pump it up again, just repeat the process over and over until the pedal is nice and firm. But make sure to check the, uh, the reservoir for the brake fluid. You don't want it to run out, obviously, because then you have air in your lines and then that's a massive mess. So just make sure that stays up there. Okay, then once we have that all finished, we can put the wheel back on, take it for a drive, and then come back in. And if everything's okay, we're good to go. So anyway, that's all, you, that's all there is on a 2000 Malibu. If you have any questions, make a comment below or any comments. Um, so thanks for watching. Have a great day.